So if I could count on one hand the amount of times that someone's asked me to do a how-to video on how to arm wrestle, um, I would need like 25 hands because you guys have been asking me an absolute ton and the biggest reason why I didn't want to make this video was because you guys can easily find this on YouTube anywhere you go. So in today's video, I'm going to actually show you guys or someone who's never arm wrestled before or someone who wants to learn how to arm wrestle properly on how to actually arm wrestle, how to actually beat someone on a table. Today, I have a little special guest. I have my girlfriend. She's going to be the one who's, uh, I guess, learning from me and I hope you guys can take action. I hope, yeah, I hope you guys can actually take something from this um, because this is going to be more of a conversation and me kind of just directing on how to actually arm wrestle. So I hope you guys find some value out of this. You guys have been requesting it a ton and here you go. So you guys know what to do. Grab a coffee, sit back, relax, enjoy the video and let's arm wrestle. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys the complete guide on how to actually arm wrestle, how to beat someone and what would I do to uh, compete against someone on a table for the first time. This is going to be as if I'm teaching you, so try to take this all in, as she's never arm wrestled herself, maybe once or twice. But yeah, try to take this all in, and like I said, hopefully you learn something from this. So for this purpose, I'm actually gonna just put these pads down and go from here. So starting on an arm wrestling table, the first thing I always tell someone is when you come up to a table, just try to put yourself right in the middle and try to put your hips close. You don't wanna be to the side of any sort. You just really wanna be centered right here, and then everything is gonna to come together in the middle. Got it? So when I'm coming to a table, the first thing I do, my right leg, my right leg is gonna to shoot to the right side. My whole hip comes right to the middle of the table. So if I'm coming to you guys on an angle like this, I put my right angle, my right foot forward, and everything gets driven right here. Same thing on a table, I come up, hip to the center of the table, my, my right foot goes to the right side, right to the middle, boom. Now we're actually set up. From here, it's the same thing with the upper body. You really wanna take your elbow, everything is going to come in to the center. If I'm to show you just like this on a camera, a lot of people like to come up and they like to hold right here. You wanna be right towards the middle. So your elbow actually comes a little bit more center. All right, so in your case, that's perfect. I come up to the table, my right foot goes to the right side. Everything comes in towards the center. Left hand on the peg or your right hand on the peg is extremely important. That's just for leverage and actually being able to set up. So I come in, elbow on the pad, everything is already in, and then you can get your grip. I'm hoping the camera's actually gonna be able to pick this up, um, but I'm gonna start explaining the three methods of arm wrestling, top roll, hook, and pressing. So uh, let's just start with top roll. The mo I would say it's a little bit more of an advanced technique, um, but definitely, definitely extremely useful. So when I come in and I put my elbow to the center, mm -hmm. which is what you're doing, you're gonna grab your hand and your hand, your, your, like the, the movie over the top, you, you wanna be able to cover your thumb. So cover your thumb. So this, this finger is gonna cover the thumb. Exactly. You always wanna show your knuckle. So I'm gonna come up and grab my hand and now we both can see our knuckles. I know you guys cannot see this, but if you turn your hand over, let's just, let's just show you. I'm hoping that the camera's gonna be able to see this. My knuckle, her knuckle, you can see here. So everything's in center. You're in a top roll position. Everything's nice and tight. And the way I like to see a top roll for just like the basics is you wanna have everything straight. So when I have my hand, I do not wanna have my wrist dumped. I wanna have it high and I wanna have that squeeze. So I come into the middle, I get my grip, right before the knuckle, and then boom. As you see my wrist, my wrist is legitimately just going up. As a beginner, you don't really wanna have your wrist bent over, but uh, yeah, let's, I'll show you here. So, get your grip. There you go, nice, perfect. I'm over as well. Now, you can see your hand is actually a little bit caved in. We don't want that. We want your hand to be nice and flat here. So, your wrist is gonna be up like that. And with top roll, we're gonna have a little bit of a pocket here. See what I mean? There's a little bit of a pocket. If we don't have that, one of us is gonna be cupped in or the other one's gonna be, mm -hmm. uh, the wrist is just not gonna work. So get our, our grip. You wanna have your hand up high, exactly. The knuckles are showing and we should have a little bit of a pocket here, exactly. For the top roll itself, you wanna be leaning over to the side. So the way I like to see it is pretend you have a cup of water in your hand, you wanna drop it to that shoulder. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you see, this is where a lot of people start to go wrong. A lot of people start to go wrong, they start to push. They start to do this movement. Mm -hmm. 
In arm wrestling, everything has to be in the pulling motion. Yep, so you're, that's, that's better. So yeah, start pulling. So what I'm gonna also get you to do is take your elbow, bring it forward, bring everything nice and tight, there you go. And then I want you to pronate through my fingers as you're dragging to that pad over there. And I want you to lean over and drop into there. That's, you're pushing. So watch, everything, I'm in nice and tight here. One, two, three, I drag. Mm -hmm. And as I'm dragging, I'm rotating my hand and I'm pretending I have a cup of water in here and I'm just gonna drop this cup of water off into my other shoulder. So you have a cup of water, you wanna dump it into that shoulder, but you have, you have to drag. So you have to, you have to go to, the, yeah, exactly. But instead of pushing, which you're already doing again, mm -hmm. you wanna drag and you wanna drag to your other shoulder. Mm -hmm. So drag it. That's a lot better, that's a lot better. And when you're doing this movement as well, in any arm wrestling movement, you always wanna be watching your hand. Mm -hmm. If you don't watch your hand and you end up in a position like this, very good chance you can break your arm, especially if you're a beginner at that point. So now that you have the, I guess, the just of bringing it that way, I want you to also try to lift your hand a little bit when you're doing this. So you're gonna come in high, nice and tight, there you go. Your hand's gonna come up, you're gonna rise. Mm -hmm. And as you rise, which means your wrist is coming up like this, mm -hmm you're going to pronate as you drag to that corner. So pronate and drag, drag, you're not, you're pushing, there you go. Yes, yes, that's better. Do that again. One, two, three, drag and pronate. Now go, there we go. Boom, way better. Here, let's switch positions, so for lighting purposes. So it's the same thing. This might be a little bit better. Yep, so get your grip. There you go, over that, exactly, we still see the knuckles. Your hand is high, my hand is high. And go ahead, top roll, there you go, pronate, rotate, and go to the side, yes. And as you can see here, it probably might look like she's actually pushing, and she is a little bit, and that's just the biggest mistake. It takes so much time for someone to actually drag, to learn the dragging motion, while also pronating at the same time. I feel like a lot of people, they think they're, they're, they're dragging, but they're actually pushing, so you just gotta be really careful with that. So try it again, your hands up high, look how clean that is from the elbow to the top of the hand, a nice, firm, stiff grip, and you're gonna drag to that corner and dump the cup of water into your shoulder. There you go, easy. If you wanna be a little bit more technical with this, I'm actually gonna bring this camera just a little bit closer. So, don't mind me here, don't mind me. One take, one take, one take. Let's try this. See if this works. If you wanna be a little bit more technical, yeah, you see, I knew that the framing wasn't gonna work. You could also dump your hand a little bit more. So what we had is we had a high hand. Mm -hmm. You can also do a low hand top roll. I don't, I'm not gonna go over to that in this video, maybe in a future video for more advanced arm wrestling, but you also have the advantage of going in low like this. Watch, you see how my wrist is dumped. And then from this position, it's the exact same thing, but the difference is instead of you taking the actual top of the hand, which the, the fingers where most people are strongest, as you come into top roll on the low hand, you actually get rid of the person's pinkies. So that would be a very generic uh, top roll. What I'll do is I'll go through all three movements and then at the end I'll do a conclusion. I'll just quickly go over them again. Top roll completed. Let's go into the hook. So hook, it's gonna be much different. Mm -hmm. When it comes to top rolling, you're, you're relying a lot on your forearm and you're relying a lot on your hand with pronation, mm -hmm. just meaning pronating outwards, like rotation wise, right? You don't really have so much on the bicep. You do from like a hammer position when you're actually pulling towards you because you're doing like this. But when it comes to actual hooking, everything is more inside and you're leaning a lot more on your actual bicep, side pressure, and a lot of drag. <clears throat> okay, so when you hook, you do not wanna have your hand over, this is for the basic, we're talking very basic hook. You wanna have your hand low. Mm -hmm. This is very basic, so the, but this is the concept. You wanna have your hand low. It doesn't have to be super low, but just low on the hand, exactly. And how this works, I always like to be close no matter what to my, to my arm at all, at all costs because then I can go into my motion. Mm -hmm. But you can realistically start in a hook from back here, over here, over here. There isn't an exact position on the pad for a hook. Anyways, so hook, it's extremely simple in a very basic motion. You just wanna cup in your hand, we call it cupping. Mm -hmm. So it just means supination, so anything that's coming in like this, mm -hmm. and dragging. That's pretty much all it is in very basic form. We'll, we'll go in deeper into this in a sec. Okay, so you show me first. 
first and then at me. So I line up and obviously I want to be high, but for a hook, I kind of want to be a little bit lower. So I'll bring my elbow just a little bit more back of the pad. So I'll bring it back a little bit. And when I go to start the match, one, two, three, I scoop in with my hand. Do you see that? Just a forearm curl, that's all it is. A forearm curl. Now I'm in this position. I'm literally in this position. So I get my forearm curl and then my elbow uh, with my hand and everything stays connected, but it also drags to this corner right here. It's not focusing on my face and I wanna make, there it is. So I start off, one, two, three, scoop. My shoulder commits, everything comes in nice and tight and then I'm dragging to the side. That's all it is. So in your case, yep, yeah, exactly. So one, two, three, scoop your hand, exactly. Now you're pushing again. You see, this is the, this is the problem with most people in their arm wrestling. This pushing thing is it's gonna break your arm. You wanna drag, so it's the same thing. So when you come in to scoop, mm -hmm. think of your bicep doing most of the work and you're dragging to the, the corner again. But everything, exactly, there's hooking. Mm -hmm. The problem a lot of people run into is that their hand isn't strong enough in this position, they think it is, but then when they go to hook, their hand actually moves away. Their hand actually flops because it's not so strong. Okay, do it again. Yeah, so one, two, three, scoop. Mm -hmm. And then I drag to the corner. Everything stays nice and tight. So if I'm showing you guys from this position, right here, one, two, three, scoop. And then I'm dragging to right here. Let's try that again. All right, one, two, three, scoop your hand in. Nice, now drag. Exactly, and your elbow, it's extremely important that your elbow follows in with it as well. I mean, you can technically hook static, just like this, but in any arm wrestling move, you just wanna use as much surface as you can on the pad, if needed, um, to actually get the match. So, let's try it again. So you line up, you get your position. Everything is centered, by the way, on the table. Remember, left hand or right hand on the peg, for support, everything is dialed in. I did forget to mention, in, on an actual arm wrestling table, when doing a tournament, when doing a match, even practice, I think it's a good idea. Always make sure your shoulders are tucked in to the middle because when you come into a tournament, if you have not practiced that, it's gonna throw you completely off and it's obviously much more safer. So, one, two, three, scoop that hand in and drag me to the side. Yes, perfect. Um, and the way I like to think of hooking as well is when I get that scoop in the hand, I don't, I don't like to think of it so much on the bottom piece of the hand. I like to think of it so much on the actual tip of the fingers. So once I'm rotated in, just like this, one, two, three, scoop in, I like to think of my fingertips holding as hard as they can, scooped around the person's fingers. So it almost looks like this. Um, and I think that, I, I genuinely think that does make a difference. So let's compare already. So top roll, let's go into a top roll position. Hand high, exactly, you learn quick. Hand high, you want a straight wrist, everything nice and straight. Like I said, very basic principles. One, two, three, rotate, drag me to that corner, exactly. Watching your hand at all times. So if I'm doing it in this motion as well, one, two, three, up, rotate to the other side of the pad. Hooking, watch my hands here, or watch our hands. Yep, they're gonna go a little bit lower. One, two, three, scoop. And also, as your opponent, as, as an opponent, you wanna bring in your shoulder just a little bit. We call it shoulder commitment. So if you see every time I'm going for a hook, I don't just do this, I do this. Mm -hmm. This movement right here, one, two, three, boom. I bring in my shoulder with my arm because it gives my, my arm support. So one, two, three, scoop. Bring in that shoulder too, boom, there you go. Mm -hmm. Now drag me to that corner, way better way better. So if you have a very strong hand, you're able to hold in that scoop, your shoulder gives your arm more support and you have a lot of drag power, meaning like you're dragging plus inner bicep pressure, you're gonna do very well. This one is uh, called the press and I don't recommend anybody who's new to actually do this movement. It's definitely more of an advanced one. So if you can't, Eh, you probably understand it, but it, it's it's more of a technical, it's, it's more of an advanced arm wrestling move. So I'll show it to you guys just for the basics, but I don't suggest doing this immediately. So press, and I'm not a professional presser, by the way, I just, I just, I think I know how to do it. Everything's gonna come in towards the center. Yeah, and in a pressing movement, it's exactly what it states it is. So when I'm lining up, I'm already putting pressure with my shoulder over. You can see it's already a lot more weird, um, a lot, 
my shoulders already being committed. And when that match starts, all I'm doing, uh, you don't give no, no pressure. Let me pin you. Don't put nothing because it will, it'll hurt. So I go one, two, three, and it's just a drive. Now there's several ways of doing this, but just think of it like the match is starting here, one, two, three. And instead of doing the top roll, instead of doing the hook, you're coming in and you're driving completely forward and your shoulder is going over top of your arm, your, your whole arm completely. So picture when you're arm wrestling with someone, if someone comes over your whole arm with the body, whether the shoulder and arm, it's extremely difficult to get out. So it's, that's, that's what the press is. So a couple of ways of doing the press. You can obviously flop, pla flop press, which is the one I hate the most and I don't ever do and I, never, I will never do. But that's the one where you line up, you're already putting pressure off the center. One, two, three, your shoulder comes in, drives, and you're, you kind of just lose your hand. We call it dumping the hand. And then you're just pressing forward. I don't recommend anybody doing this unless you're very experienced. Um, another way of doing it is just cupping your hand in like we were doing in the hook, remember? Just a scoop, drag but now you scoop and you're driving forward as well with your shoulder. If I was doing it with my left hand, just to show you guys from a different angle, I come in one, two, three, scoop, and then I'm driving forward. It's, it's extremely simple, but it's also extremely technical. And I've been arm wrestling for eight years pr professionally, and I, I don't press unless if I feel like I have a legit chance. I will do a video in the future on advanced arm wrestling to get in maybe to the nitty gritty of the technicals, but let's go over the three main uh, arm wrestling moves one last time so you guys can have a little bit of a grasp. And I really hope this explains or can help you guys in any way. So let's, let's actually put the pads on. And I'm going to readjust the camera just so we can possibly have maybe a little bit of a different angle, but here, let's do this. Let's try this. So we will start with the top roll, go to hook, do the press. And I think we're, I think we'll be fine. So like I said, coming up to the table, first thing I want to do right foot to the right corner. If I'm doing my left hand, my left foot to the left corner, there's also advanced, um, technique, I guess, when it comes to either hip placement or where your legs actually go on the table, depending on the move you're doing. But if you guys really, really wanna see a part two of more advanced, I can definitely do that. But just for the sake of this video, right foot to the right side of the table to where the table actually crosses. As I put there, everything comes in center, shoulders commit, arm on the peg, left or right, and we are bringing our elbow to the middle. For a top roll, you wanna bring your hand as high as possible, as high as possible. Can we see it? Yeah, we can kind of see there. Mm -hmm. High as possible, and you wanna have yours just like that, exactly. Because in, if we're both top rolling, we should have a little bit of a pocket here, technically mm -hmm. speaking. <coughs> Excuse me. And then from this moment, it's going to be a one, two, three, and it's gonna be a pull back, and you're gonna rotate. So one, two, three, pull back, rotate, drag, exactly. I'll show you guys from my standpoint. One, two, three, drag back, pronate, go for the pen. For a hook, remember, drop your hand. It, it can be over the thumb. I have big hands, so it's kind of a little bit weird for me. Um, she has a small hand, I have a big hand, so it's, uh, the physics are definitely not on my side or hers. However, actually, yeah, they're more on my side, but you wanna just dump your hand more lower. You're gonna commit your shoulder this time. Remember, you're bringing everything inward. So for a hook, it's gonna be that one, two, three, scoop in, just scoop. You don't have to go completely berserk where you're, you're somewhere in here. You just wanna bring in your shoulder enough where you can lean on that bicep. So one, two, three, bring it in. Exactly, and then you're dragging. As you're watching your hand, that's extremely important. I'll do it from my point of view. So one, two, three, drive in. Remember, keep your fingers all the way scooped in as hard as you possibly can. One, two, three, drag. So in the full motion, one, two, three, scoop, drag. Everything in arm wrestling is a pulling movement. For some reason, people tend to have this thing where they have to go straight to the side or they come into the side and then there's this pushing motion. I'm telling you, if you don't know what you're doing, you will break your arm. And I think to break your arm, which when you see in these videos, when your arm completely snaps, I think it's about 40 pounds of pressure. That's all it is. So it's, it doesn't take much. Mm. 
And let's get into the press, the most advanced technique, which I don't recommend anybody doing, except if you kind of know what you're doing. So it's that one, two, three, press in, drive to the pad. You can also, like I said, you can dump that wrist, or it's the complete opposite. One, two, three, you're already applying pressure in the middle. One, two, three, scoop. So you're almost in like a hook position and you're driving forward. So you're literally in this position right here. And that's pretty much the basics of arm wrestling. Remember, feet placement, your hip placement, everything centered to the table, including your elbow. Don't, don't do like I did in my first tournament. I show up at the table, my right arm is to the right side, I'm just dragging and I'm trying to top roll. No, 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 no. You want everything to be right in the middle, nice and tight. And I never understood this until I got more advanced into the sport and until I've done more tournaments, but it all makes sense because everything's connected, everything's nice and tight. And you'll just see, you're probably gonna win a little bit more. And I think that's going to be, I've covered everything. Leg movement, yeah, leg placement, hips, positioning on the elbow, the arms, the hands, the basic principles of top roll, hook, and press. Yeah, you think you could beat anybody now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you guys like this type of video, you know what to do, like the video, consider subscribing, and I will catch you guys in the next one. What do we say at the end? <laughs> Until then, peace. <laughs>